What you guys got another video here for you on how to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Now, if you have an old computer that is not on the compatibility list to install Windows 11 on, then you can still install Windows 11 on that system. It's no secret. It's been out for quite a while. Microsoft know that everyone knows about how to install uh, Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. They've even written about it on their own article, which I'll show you in a second. But first off, let's go through some of the things that you need to do and some of the things you need to understand before we go ahead and do an upgrade to Windows 11. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are fully updated on your Windows 10 system. So you want to make sure that you go to the update section and check for updates and get all of the latest updates for that computer. This can make sure that we don't have any issues uh, with update issues, maybe some sort of problem during the upgrade process. So you'll see there's quite a few here. So we're gonna let these go through and let these upgrade, and then hopefully we can move on to the next stage. While they're updating, I'll talk about two things that I think are important. The first thing that I wanna talk about is whether your PC is your main computer. If this is your only computer that you have, and it has Windows 10 on it, it is supported until October 14th, 2025. You have no need to upgrade to Windows 11. You can use Windows 10 up until October 14th, 2025, and you will still receive updates just like we're receiving here. The second thing that if it's your only PC and it's your, all your data is on there, then it's probably not advisable to force an upgrade to Windows 11 on an unsupported CPU. The reason for this is we don't know what decisions Microsoft are going to do in the foreseeable future. They could stop updates to that system. They could do all sorts of things, and it might not be suitable to use your only PC, which is all your mission critical data on there on Windows 11. Now, on the other hand, if you have an older system lying around, which isn't your main system, and you want to use Windows 11 and give it a try, and you don't care about anything on there, then by all means, go ahead and install it on that system and use it and see how you like it. These are the two things that I would make sure that you understand before you go ahead and install Windows 11. The next thing you need to do is head over to Microsoft's website, and you need to then download the ISO file for Windows 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the bottom of this page here where you can see download Windows 11 disk image ISO. So you need to select Windows 11 here and you can then hit the download button. This will then download the ISO for us. So go ahead and select the language and confirm. And we can let this then go ahead and download the ISO here. So there we go. We've got it coming down. It's a quite a large ISO. It's what 5.1 gigabytes in size. Shouldn't take too long to come down if you have a fast internet connection. Okay, so let's take a look at ways to install Windows 11. Now, this is an article on Microsoft's own website, as you can see here. If you read this article, it will instruct you about how to install Windows 11. It talks about before you begin here, it'll give you some information about checking the minimum system requirements you can click on this link and it will take you there and you can check those system requirements to make sure it meets them it says also that you need to run the pc health check app and you can click here and download it and basically run that on your computer and it will tell you whether your pc is eligible to have uh, windows 11 installed on it moving on down to this area here we can see the windows update area which is they're recommending that you update your operating system which is making sense and then it comes down to this area here which it also says other ways to install windows 11 not recommended unless instructed by support so this is obviously uh, projected towards companies and businesses that need to update uh, to windows 11 and you can see here it says here microsoft recommends against installing windows 11 on a device that does not meet the windows 11 minimum system requirements if you choose to install Windows 11 on a device that does not meet the minimum requirements and you acknowledge and understand the risks, 
you can create the following registry key values to bypass the check for TPM 2.0 and at least TPM 1.2 is required to install Windows 11 on that system. And that's basically it. They're giving you the registry key right here on their own website to tell you how to bypass uh, this checking process that is going on. So does that mean uh, that you're okay to use it? Well, there's always a risk. Microsoft can change their mind like the weather and basically stop updates for all unsupported uh, uh, computers, which means you will not receive any security updates. Now, as a company, they'll probably not using the Windows update feature in the way that you use it at home. They'll probably do an updates in another way. And that means that they can probably still bypass that method of getting updates. So it wouldn't affect companies, but home users, it certainly would, unless you go through the manual update process route, which can be a bit of a hassle. Now, if you look here, it does tell you about installing Windows 11 on devices that don't meet the minimum system requirements. You can see it basically breaks it all down and tells you uh, in here. I've covered this before in a video, so I'm not going to go too deeply in it. I will leave the link in the video description so you can take time to read all this information at your own leisure okay so let's now go ahead and install our registry key which is our workaround so what we need to do here is go to the registry i'm going to type reg edit in the search box here and basically we're going to click on here and open up the registry editor so now we've got the registry editor open we need to navigate to the area which they've told us to go to so what we're going to do here is go to where it says computer here, H key local machine, open this up here. We're going to go down to where it says system, open this up, go to setup, so find setup. There we go. If we don't see the directory here or folder, what we can do is right click on here and create a new key. Inside here, we're going to be creating capital M O and then set up like so. And once you've got this done, we can head over to this side here, right click here, new D word 32 bit value. So we need to paste in here, allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Once you've done this, we can double click on this. And we can give this a value of one, click OK. And we are now set to install Windows 11 on this machine. Now, before rolling out any sort of major upgrade to a new operating system, it's always advisable to make a backup of your data. Yes, Microsoft saves your data during the upgrade process to a new operating system, but I would never rely on Microsoft to back up your data. It's your responsibility to back up your own data. So you can use something like Macmillan Reflect to uh, use to back up your data, or you can use the built-in Windows backup tool to back up your data. Whatever way you wanna back up your data, use that method. Never rely on Microsoft to save your data and while you upgrade into a new operating system. Once you're happy with this, we've already got the download of our ISO image. We can go to our download section here. There is our ISO that we just downloaded. We can right click on this and we can mount this on our system. It's now mounted to our computer. All we need to do here is click on the setup. All you need to do then is follow the on-screen display and upgrade Windows 11 on that system. It's a pretty straightforward process. Just follow the prompts on the screen when you're going through the upgrade process and the PC will start to upgrade to Windows 11. It works because you wouldn't see that install Windows 11 prompt box on the screen. Now, you should have something looking like this if you've installed Windows 11 and uh, we still don't know what Microsoft's stance is on uh, unsupported hardware, whether they are going to enforce uh, no Windows updates for Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. We don't know whether they're going to do that and uh, we just have to wait and see. Now, if you've got Windows 11 and you don't like it and you do want to roll back, there is an option to roll back. You have 10 days to roll back to Windows 10. You can go to the Start button here, 
you can go to settings and then you can go to system and then down here there will be a recovery section mine is grayed out and that's because the time has run out you can extend this to 30 days using a command prompt uh, code and you can push it in there and get 30 days but by default it is 10 days only so you'll have 10 days to roll back after that it will gray out like this and you won't be able to roll back to windows 10 you will have to do a fresh install of windows 10 if you want to go back to it just bear that in mind anyway i think that is going to be about it for this video hope this video has been some sort of use to you let me know in the comment section below what you're going to be doing with your old systems and i'll be happy to read those comments my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a big shout out to all my youtube members who show their support by joining my members group i really do appreciate the support your names are rolling up on the screen right now and i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching bye for now